I got a lot of overripe plums from my aunt in Nagano that were perfect for jam. You need to remove black stem ends by toothpicks. Peel off the skin and the rotten part, but you may leave the skin if it's not damaged. Plums weigh about 2.1 kg, so I use about 210 grams of sugar because I like sour jam. The plums get mushy quickly and be sure to skim the forms because they leave a bitter taste. So this is how it looks like after boiling for 15 minutes. Let me taste it. It's sour, exploding taste. It's great. But let me add 40 grams of sugar to make it just a little bit milder. Remove the remaining foams and let it cool down. Strain the jam, in this case using a steel strainer. Using a wooden spoon or a spatula, press the fruits through the strainer until only the seeds remain. So a lot of jam is made, and it's a nice orange color. It's 1250 grams in total. Sterilize the jars in boiling water. Make sure the jars are totally covered by the hot water. Don't forget to soak the lids as well. Completely air dry jars and the lids. It can take several hours. Put the strained jam back in the pan and boil it down. Scrape the bottom to avoid burning. You can see pectin is making the jam syrupy. Put the jam in the jars using a big spoon or a spatula. The jam boiled down to this much in the end. Keep a hot bath to the jars you plan to store. Ideally, you are using a deeper pan to cover them completely in water. The lid should pop when the air is vacuumed. これは次の朝ですけれど、最終的にはジャムはこのような形で収まりました。ちなみにこちらはオガが作ったブルーベリーのジャムと私が3週間前に作った